lots of great stories. Let's bring in Queen City hometown storyteller Maureen Wirtz again for your second story. I love the stories that we have here today. Second one, always about telling great stories, Maureen. Brian, when people ask about our hometown shows, I always say it's about sharing stories. And here in Newton, there is one place that does a great job at celebrating stories even before the curtain goes up. Sitting in the heart of downtown Newton is an unmistakable building, recognizable even to those who've never been here. For it's commonplace in every big city or small town. But wait, is it? The first few years when we moved in here, we had people coming in every day mailing to mail packages and letters. Instead of postmarks, there are posters, all designed by one man who has a well-rehearsed speech for those who come in trying to mail something. Our actual post office is just two blocks down the street on the right. I got used to saying that. John David Brown III's office is filled up with color. The characters that surround him have all come to life on the stage at the old post office playhouse. Oh my gosh, color is everything. From steel magnolias to the frog prints, and then to Miracle on 34th Street, he's designed every poster for every play, going back to when he started in 2008 with the Green Room Community Theater. Oh, well they're all kind of like my children. <laughs> the theater group remodeled the old post office in 2010. For John David, it's not just the stage where stories are shared. There's something very classic about the poster itself, and it's gonna, it's gonna exist in a moment of time when it gets printed. Through letters and packages, the post office was a way to stay in touch with people and places far removed from our day-to-day -day lives. Though the role of this place has been recast, its purpose has not changed. It's my opportunity to spread joy. Those important connections and stories still being shared, printed, and posted.